Hey guys, it's Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today we'll be talking about another type of Moise Knight. It's actually another cut, it's the Asher cut, okay? Um, thanks to Samantha who left a comment below, uh, we're doing this video just for you, okay? So today we'll be going over specifically the Supernova versus the Forever One, Charles Kavar Moise Knight, both being an Asher cut, and I'm gonna get right into it for you. But before I go ahead and do that, I do wanna let you know that right now we're actually running a contest, a giveaway contest, so stay tuned, watch the entire video, the details will be at the end of this video for you. Alright guys, so the first stone that I'll be taking out is a 7.5 millimeter Asher cut. Okay, uh, this specific Asher cut is a supernova. Again, if you've been following us uh, in the past, the supernova is an F to G color. Okay, uh, so being in the higher range of the near colorless scale and the lower range or spectrum of the colorless scale. However, just by looking at this specific stone, it definitely looks more uh, as a colorless stone. Uh, definitely even, maybe even higher than an F color, just by, you know, examining with my naked eye here. Uh, so I just want to make sure that, um, you know, I do clarify that. So this specific stone by Supernova, the Asher cut at 7.5 millimeters, uh, definitely look as if. Uh, it is uh, definitely a colorless stone as opposed to the near colorless version. Okay, uh, so with that said, this is a 7.5 millimeter or 1.9 carat diamond equivalent weight stone. All right, uh, it is a step cut. Step cut meaning, uh, again, if you have uh, seen one of my other videos, then uh, this might be a little repetitive, but if you haven't, uh, all the step cut basically means is the way it's been faceted. Okay, uh, so a facet is every single surface area of a stone. Okay, uh, if the facets parallel to the girdle or the circumference of the stone, if it's parallel to that side, uh, then that's a step cut. So if you notice here, the facet is parallel to the girdle on that side. And then the facets here are parallel to the um, girdle on this side of the stone, right? So, uh, so it, it, it's, it's very symmetrical all the way through. And here is the pavilion of the stone, right? Uh, so there you go, that's the, the Asher, the supernova. The next stone that I'm going to take out here is the Charles and Kovar Forever One Moissanite. So this is also a step cut and it's also an Asher, okay? Uh, so this specific stone here is the Charles and Kovar Forever One colorless version D, E, and F color, okay? Uh, if you notice, there is a slight difference in size. All right, this is an eight millimeter versus the seven and a half millimeter of the supernova. Typically, we'll try to find stones that are very similar in size, or if not the same in size. The reason why I'm not able to do it today is because many of our stones are, are being sold out. So at the moment, uh, this is the closest size that we currently have to each other. So for the sake of comparison, for the sake of uh, making sure that we uh, provide uh, uh, you know, another video on the Asher cut for you, I just want to make sure that um, you know, I do definitely uh, take out two stones that are very similar in size. Okay, with that said, um, the, these are both step cuts. Uh, these are both uh, faceted, that's parallel to the girdle. Uh, both are Asher cuts. This is the Forever One 8 millimeter. That's the Supernova 7.5 millimeter. The 8 millimeter being about two and a quarter carat diamond equivalent weight, versus the Supernova at 7.5 millimeter, which is about 1.9 carats diamond equivalent weight. Okay. Uh, this is the Supernova Moissanite Asher cut at 7.5 millimeters. Okay. Uh, again, Moissanite. Cuts, although they come as standard cuts, uh, for example, seven and a half millimeters, eight millimeters, eight and a half millimeters, nine millimeters, and so on, uh, there is a tolerance level that uh, they will allow. So typically it's anywhere between plus or minus 0 0.05 to 0.1 millimeters. Okay, typically more on the higher end as opposed to on the lower end. So with that said, this is a seven and a half millimeters, so let's see what that comes out to. All right, so that's a 7.6 millimeter. Again, that is about 0.1 millimeters higher than what the standard size is. Uh, so which is very favorable for the specific cut because uh, the larger it is, people typically prefer a larger stone. 
uh, and it typically will weigh more as well. Okay, so let's see what the uh, length, that was the length, let's see the width. Now the, the width of this stone is a 7.5251 millimeter, so therefore it's still within the range of what is acceptable. Okay, so that's about a 7.6 by 7.52. Um, even though it's off by about 0 0.08 of a millimeter, right it still looks very symmetrical because you're talking about fractions of a millimeter so it's still very 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 symmetrical looking all right uh, so let's go ahead and measure the depth of the stone or the height now measuring the depth of the stone all that basically means is we're measuring from the bottom culet of the stone all the way to the top table facet of the stone or the largest facet so from the all the way from the bottom to the top what is the total depth the depth of this is about 4.8 millimeters, right? So again, that's 7.6 by 7.52 approximately by a 4.83 millimeter stone, all right? Uh, so this stone is definitely larger than the standard size of a 7.5 millimeter. This is a supernova ranging between an F to G color, uh, but you know, again, just based on my observation, this is definitely a colorless stone as opposed to a near colorless stone, all right? So the next stone that I'll be taking out, again, will be the Forever One Moissanite by Charles and Kovar. This is also a colorless stone ranging between D, E, and F in the color scale, all right? Uh, so this is an eight millimeter. Again, there is a tolerance, an acceptable tolerance of 0 0.05 millimeters to 0 0.1 millimeters. So let's see what this comes out to, all right? This stone comes out to an 8.11 millimeter, so it's actually um, cut, uh, you know, larger than that of the standard 8 millimeter. So it's definitely uh, on the higher end of what uh, is normally uh, going to be cut for an 8 millimeter because it's, you're, you're getting a lot more. So you're getting much more bang for your buck here. So this 8.11, and let's see what the other side comes out to. It comes out to an 8.08, .08, so it's definitely larger on both sides. Um, so it's 8.11 by 8.08. .08. Again, that's very favorable for anyone that's looking for an Asher cut. That's definitely going for a larger size, right? So even though you're buying an 8 millimeter, this, this specific stone here came out to an 8.11 by 8.08. .08. And even though it's off by 0 0.03, of a millimeter, we're talking about fractions of a millimeter, so therefore it's still very symmetrical. All an Asher cut basically is, is a square emerald. It's cut the exact same way. Both are step cuts. Uh, both have even sides, even facets on both sides. It's parallel to the girdle. Uh, the only difference between an Asher and an emerald cut is an emerald cut, cut is elongated, whereas an Asher cut is basically a square emerald. Okay, so let me go ahead and measure the depth here. Again, the depth is measuring between the culet or the bottom point of the stone all the way to the table facet. Now, this specific stone is approximately a 4.25 millimeter. Uh, so, although it's a larger stone than that of the supernova, it looks as if the supernova is cut longer than that of the Forever One. All right? So, even though the Forever One here uh, has higher length by width ratio, uh, the depth is lower. So that, what that, all that basically means is that it's more shallow in terms of the way it's cut versus the supernova it has a higher pavilion, okay? Uh, so if that's the case, then basically if I was to flip this around, right, at 7.5 millimeters uh, with a higher depth millimeter measurement, uh, although this is an 8 millimeter with a lower depth measurement, then basically the pavilion should be higher. So as you guys can see, uh, the stone on your right hand side is the Forever One Asher at 8 millimeters, and the stone on your left hand side is the 7.5 millimeter Supernova. Uh, the, even though the Asher on your right hand side has a longer length to width ratio than the stone on your left hand side, the Supernova seems to have a uh, a longer depth or total height for the stone from the culet all the way to the table facet of the top of the stone compared to that of the supernova. Uh, so all that basically means is that supernova definitely adds a little more weight to the pavilion by adding uh, a higher pavilion and hopefully you can be able to see it there uh, that the pavilion for the supernova is a little higher than that of the forever one. 
All right, guys, so we're going to be weighing it. Uh, the first stone I'll be taking out, again, is the Supernova. Okay, this is a 7.5 millimeter, the diamond equivalent weight of the stone. Should be about a 1.9 carat diamond equivalent weight. But since this is a moissanite, which is less dense than that of a diamond, it should uh, definitely weigh slightly less. However, if you notice earlier, based on my examination here, the pavilion of the stone is um, definitely cut a little higher, so that should add a little weight. So it should definitely be closer to a 1.9 carat diamond equivalent weight uh, than that of what a typical moissanite will be cut as, because even though its weight is less dense, whereas it should weigh slightly less, uh, there's a little additional weight added to it by adding a longer pavilion. Okay, so with that said, let me go ahead and weigh it. Well, look at that. So just as I suspected, it's at exactly 1.9 carats of total actual moissanite weight, which basically means that's equivalent to that of a 1.9 carat diamond equivalent weight. Um, and all that basically means is that if you notice earlier, again, so based on my measurement, since the pavilion is cut slightly higher than that of how um, normally these stones are cut, uh, that additional weight made the actual weight weigh exactly what the diamond equivalent weight should be at least for this specific stone anyway because it's cut slightly longer wider and higher than what uh, a typical moissanite would weigh uh, again a seven and a half millimeter uh, moissanite weight should weigh slightly less because it's slightly less dense but since this one was cut at approximately about a 7.6 millimeter by 7.5 and and some plus a higher uh, depth uh, or total height of the stone, it added much more weight and it came out to exactly 1.9 total carats of actual moissanite weight. You know, it's it's definitely one of the uh, scenarios that it's very rare to see, but this one here is definitely going to give you the most bang for your buck if you're looking for most weight, okay? So the next stone that I'm taking out is an 8 millimeter Forever One Charles and Covard moissanite and the diamond equivalent weight of an 8 millimeter should be approximately a two and a quarter carats. All right, uh, at two and a quarter carats, that's diamond equivalent weight. Again, if you have not seen my other video of what the difference between a diamond equivalent weight versus a moissanite actual weight is, please definitely check it out. All that basically means is that moissanite is less dense, so even though it may look the same as what a diamond will look like based on these millimeter sizes, it should weigh slightly less. Uh, Forever One Moissanite by Charles and Covard is definitely cut slightly different uh, to maximize the, the sparkle and fire of the stone, and therefore, if it's cut like that, of a moissanite, then it should definitely weigh less than a two and a quarter uh, carat diamond equivalent weight. And just as I suspected, it is a 1.845, uh, I guess we could round it to a 1.85 carat moissanite actual weight. Okay, so that's 1.85 compared to that of a two and a quarter carat diamond equivalent weight. Uh, again, it's because of the fact that moissanite is less dense than that of a diamond, and therefore, it's cut to a certain way at, at the same time to maximize the sparkle that the diamond equivalent weight uh, is going to be almost always more than the actual moissanite weight. Uh, so this is cut uh, like that of how most moissanites cut and this is typical uh, for most moissanites. So uh, for, for the sake of this actual video, going back to the supernova, uh, where it's supposed to be a 1.9 carat diamond equivalent weight, this is definitely a 1.9 carat uh, uh, more than an actual weight. Again, it's because of the fact that the proportions will cut slightly larger to meet the actual weight of the diamond equivalent weight, okay? Uh, so with that said, I, I hope I didn't confuse anyone too much. Um, and uh, so uh, there you go. Those are the two stones. like what you saw there again thanks to Samantha uh, for leaving the comment below this video is just for you and everyone else that wanted to see this video again if there's anything at all that you want us to compare to be sure to leave a comment uh, hit the like button follow our channel subscribe to your channel if you haven't already our goal is definitely hit a thousand by the end of the year it looks like we're already getting there so thank you so much for all the support and as promised um, you know in terms of the details
details of the contest, we are running a giveaway contest with big discount codes as well as a free giveaway in terms of a classic solitaire Moise Knight ring, okay? Uh, it's thanks to our IG or Instagram page where we've reached 10,000 followers and thanks to all of our, uh, the supporters out there, the details are on, on our Instagram page. Just follow us on fireandbrilliance.com, look for one of a few posts that says tag to win. All of the details are there on how you can actually qualify uh, to be a, um, a, a possible winner of this contest, okay? Again, there are multiple discount codes, very large discount codes, as well as a giveaway in terms of a classic solitaire ring from us here at Fire and Brilliance, okay? Thanks again for all the support, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.